<laughs> and unlike car and driver, this car's real. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know a lot of channels say that, but I really do mean it. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if this is your first time in here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Before we get today's video started, I want to give a shout out to my boys at Black Flag Arsenal. They're local here in Waukee, Iowa. Go hit them up, blackflagarsenal.com. They got awesome prices and the knowledge to back everything up for the people that are 2A friendly, which is pretty much everybody on this channel is from what I'm getting a feel of. Black Flag Arsenal, awesome place to buy guns, ammunition, pretty much anything. Those dudes got a pretty badass selection on everything. Go check them out, blackflagarsenal.com. Let's go. 2024 Yanko Camaro. This car is going to be the ultimate. Now, I'm gonna say before I get started, it's not out yet, it's not released. Everything's hush hush. All, everything is just rumors at this point. It is happening. This car is real, but this car will be the ultimate car. And I have a few inklings as to what they're going to do. It's not, like I said, not being released yet, but we're very, very close. I have a feeling they're going to drop the announcement pretty much as soon as like Chevrolet drops the announcement of the Camaro Collector's Edition. Now the ZL1, we all know. I'm really not anticipating anything super, super special. I mean, it, it's going to be a cool car. I guarantee that. It's going to be a cool car. Even if they just leave it as a ZL1, stock ZL1, it's going to be a cool car. But Yanko, or er, I should say, the people at SVE, the people that bought the brand, Yanko brand name, they're going to turn that bitch up to about, oh, 19 or 20 out of 10. This car is going to be something fierce. Everything that I have been told, I've been told by multiple people, actually tried to reach out to SVE myself, come up with goose egg zeros. I was discussing this with a uh, friend to the channel, and this car has a lot of potential because the SS1 LE is quite ridiculous in its own way. The car is set up, uh, actually, I can't believe it has a $48,000. Well, if you want to go 1SS, 47, 48,000. MSRP, if you want to go two SS, depending on what you do and what you add to it, you can, you can go, you can build a pretty decent car for 53, 55 grand manual transmission. Um, the Yanko, I did a video on this before you guys can go back in my archive and see, check out that video. It's actually pretty cool. It was back when I was kind of new to making videos, but anyways, uh, I touched point on a lot of highlights. That was actually pretty good. And I believe that everything is pretty much going to continue on into the 2024. Just the horsepower and performance is going to get cranked way up. I've covered this in a lot of live streams. And we all know the potential of the SS1 LE. They call it the baby ZL1 for a good reason. It has pretty much everything that the ZL1 has with some minor tweaks. But I think SVE is going to go through the car entirely and make, you know, changes where they need. Now, everybody knows uh, the 2023 is going to be 1,100 horsepower in the automatic and 1,150 in the manual transmission. That's the way it's always been. They always do 50 less horsepower in the automatics <laughs> and they do 50 more horsepower in the manuals. Now, ever since the fifth gen, from year to year to year, they only make 50 a year, 50 automatics and 50 manuals. So every year they increase it by 50. It's a lot of 50s. But the simple fact is, I don't think that this one's going to be a 50 jump. I'm, I think it might be more like a 500 jump or close to. As I've said before, and as I've stated in the pr last uh, previous live streams, the Camaro is kind of overbuilt. It's kind of over engineered and it's and they give you an excellent platform to build off of. The ELSD is rated at 1,450 foot pounds of torque. The transmission in the car is well, the manual, anyways, is rated for a thousand foot pounds of torque. 
I'm not sure what the automatic is, but they do go through and beef up the automatic transmission to meet the power needs. That being said, with us at 2023, car being 1100, 1150, I believe this car could be close to 1500. 1500 crank, and that's pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Now, I have heard of a few people that have had some talks inside of SVE. And they said that this car is going to be a monster. It's going to be all out, all stops pulled, just insanity to the max. And I also did hear that they are taking deposits as we speak, what they call ghost deposits. So pretty much, um, if you want to put a deposit down on this car, you can do that. Get a hold of SVE. Uh, I'll put their information up on the screen here. And uh, it's I think initially the deposit is going to be $2,500. When the car gets ordered from Chevrolet and everything, when the rubber hits the road and the paperwork gets finalized and it's time to sign on the dotted line, it's, I believe it's going to require an additional $7,500. Bring in the deposit up to ten grand, and that's gonna be the the <laughs> that's gonna be the small chunk. So if you have a problem coming up with ten grand, I really wouldn't even consider <laughs> this to be a viable option because typically the standard Yanko package. Um, and I could reach out to Tracy if Tracy you're in here and you see this, please comment about how much roughly ballpark a Yanko package costs, because I believe it's like $80,000. So I, I think that some of that 10 grand does go to your $80,000 on the Yanko package, but the Yanko package is not financeable. So you can finance the car, but not the Yanko package. So it's the way it goes, guys. But this car is going to be probably not even 50. And I don't know if they're going to make this is their production line or if this is going to be something in of itself that's its own and then they're going to have the 50 automatics 50 manuals then this car maybe like 25 or 10 but i think uh <laughs> if the power level does get cranked up like that you know 1250 13 14 1500 horsepower the price is just going you're going to get destroyed but it's going to be an insane car. This is going to be one that definitely will go up in value. Could it hit 500, 750, a million dollars? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this car, uh, they're going to do one final rendition of Camaro for 2024. Man, that sucks. Saying. I'm excited to see this. I'm more so excited to see this than I am the, the collector's edition because Pretty much we know that the collector edition, it's going to be something cool in of itself. This car is going to be what Chevrolet probably should have done. So, man. So, it's time for predictions. I'm going to predict that this car is going to be about 1,400 horsepower. And I believe that the automatic, if they make it an automatic, will have the same reduction, 1,350 and I do think that this car will probably set you back just the just the Yanko package itself moving from about 80,000 ish. I think that this package is going to be probably 125,000 on its own. This is my prediction. This is my guess at this point. But I think June's going to be a Big, big month for uh, six gen Camaro owners or six gen Camaro fans, I should say. So other than that, I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. As soon as I know something, I will definitely record and make a video and let keep you guys up to speed on that. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. You guys know what to do, blah, blah, blah. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Really mean it. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye. 